So I've been having heated debates over the years with some of my friends and followers regarding the 1.0 litre turbocharged or non-turbocharged engines. Our debates are always about fuel consumption and engine reliability in general, with my belief being that um, the smaller engines, whether they are turbocharged or non-turbocharged, they are less reliable and less fuel efficient compared to your 1.4 litres, 1.6 going upwards also whether turbocharged or non-turbocharged. So in this video, I want to show you guys how far a 2021 1.4 litre Polo Vivo can go with one petrol tank. So please join me and my wife as we drive from Midrand to Nganla and from Nganla to Devon, then from Devon to Johannesburg. And we will try to do this with only one fuel tank. Welcome to Mzansi Auto Mines. Midrand, it's zero zero. Let's see how far is it going to go with one full tank. Yeah. So normally when I fill up the Polo Vivo, it usually gives me about 660 to 670 um, in terms of the range that it displays on the in instrument cluster. Of which obviously there are a lot of factors that affect um, fuel consumption on a vehicle. One of them, as you can see there, the car was giving me over a thousand range. That was because I was driving mostly downward, um, going down Van Rinen, um as I go towards Deben. But other factors include weight, which can be due to luggage and number of passengers that you are carrying on board. So for those who like free rides and don't want to pay, please remember that your presence in someone's car affects their fuel consumption. Drag and friction also affect um, fuel consumption. So for those who like driving with windows open, your sunroof, not only does that make you look like a clown, but it also affects your tank. There are way more other factors um, that can affect your consumption, such as whether you are driving on a freeway or you are driving on a countryside road or you are driving in town where you are doing a lot of change downs, change ups, a lot of um, hard acceleration using lower gears and many 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 other factors so i decided that i was going to do this video after i saw someone on tiktok who said his 1.0 polo tsi gives him just over 700 kilometers driving on freeway only so please note that on this video i will drive on the n3 going towards Devon. i'm going to drive on the n11 the n3 by the way is a freeway it's a national road I'm going to drive on the N11, which is a mixture of both. It's a mixture of countryside roads as well as a bit of um, freeway vibes. I'm going to drive on the R73, which joins um, Colenso, Umsinga, Great Town, Kranzkop, and Stenger, which is a countryside road with a lot of potholes, a lot of speed humps, a lot of mountains, a lot of turning, and the likes. Um, yeah, and many other roads that um, I don't remember by names including going down to Njambili and going up again, which is one of the most steep roads you will find in South Africa. So when I filled up in Mitra and leaving, my car was completely empty. Like it was, it was very, very empty. So I filled it up with, um, it was just 1,300 and something rands to top it up. And for those who wonder how much you must budget for toll gates when you're going down to Durban, just budget at least 700 for return going and coming back just for toll gate because wow the toll gates going to Devon on the entry are so expensive okay not this challenge missing me again again I want it to be here a thousand kilometers with one tank. But my problem right now, I'm on the N3 going towards Johannesburg. And this is um, Shell Ultra City. I don't remember the exact location, but it's the one before the Tugela, Tugela, Tugela Plaza. And my biggest problem is that I don't remember how far is the next petrol station and I'm only left with like 10 kilometers to finish the challenge and my range is saying 20 kilometers. 
meaning I can practically make it. And I know I can make it even further than that um, because there's still like um, a reserve tank or whatsoever that can still push me. I've driven this car after it has set zero range for like 30 kilometers. So practically I can complete this challenge. But my problem is I'm with my wife and I'm with my child and <laughs> my wife is a bit anxious about all of this and yeah so i guess i'm gonna have to let you guys down again but i'm not really making you guys letting you guys down because i mean look there's the 20 kilometers left so i can practically like drive for the next 20 kilometers and i'll make it so basically we can say this challenge is complete guys please <laughs> just let me like complete this it's completed guys it's it's completed we can go on to the next challenge now this one is practically done well here yeah, i almost played myself um because the next petrol station was 45 minutes away and i don't think i was going to make it but believe it or not this car can go to devon and come back to johannesburg with only one fuel tank and I'll still be left with a lot of fuel, a lot of petrol in my tank. If you want me to prove it, please send me 1,500 for petrol. I will drive down to Devon and come back on live camera. And I'm going to pay for the toll gates out of my pockets and the rest of the traveling. Oh yeah, before I forget, <laughs> you guys are very persuasive. I just checked the numbers on our We Buy Cars um, video. Um, the likes are currently sitting at 276 meaning we're very very close to our 300 likes target and we are less than 300 um, subscribers away from 1k and remember if that happens before end of november we are buying a car that will be buying it um, specifically for the challenge if you enjoyed this video please do make sure you like it and share it i'll be seeing you guys on the next one peace